Hey guys, come and check out a couple items that sold within hours of listing it on eBay. Stay tuned. Welcome to the OBX Picker channel. Uh, my name is Eric. I was going to be talking with you today about what's sold on eBay. And also, I have um, a pickup I did yesterday, Facebook Marketplace, some fellow pickers I know that had, we had gotten contact with each other about some items that they had. So I want to take a few minutes and show you that here at the end as well. I know everybody's anxious to go out and find stuff. And maybe some of you already have uh, opportunities that have opened up for you to go and pick. Uh, these guys are people I've known uh, probably since September. I usually see them at garage sales and thrift stores, and we've talked numerous times. Uh, they have a unique perspective of picking, so uh, they usually find stuff that I wouldn't even look at. So I've got some items today that I'm going to be showing you that I picked up from them. So stick around. We'll get right to what's sold. So the first item that I have going out today is... <clears throat> this Carolina Hurricane. This is a season ticket holder hat, if you see right there. Um, this thing sold for $12.50, free shipping. I uh, I picked this hat up for $0.50, cent. <clears throat> so nice little flip there. Uh, the next item I got going out is this PJ Carousel. Um, I've sold numerous of these uh, in the past. They are all a little different if you're looking and you're not quite sure what you're looking for uh when it comes to the oh, got a little paint chip on there when it comes to pj carousel how you can tell that they're actually pj carousel a lot of the older ones actually will have it initialed in here on the pottery um these things are this one's from 1986 pj carousel was in new Bern, uh virginia and most of them have the stamp on the bottom what they actually are. This is Valiant and is signed by MJ Phelps, who was the artist on this one. They, these were hand painted um, carousel horses. So I <clears throat> got a lot of those around 50 horses for a hundred bucks at a yard sale. So I've got about around $2 a piece on all these, but I'll just tell you, I'm way in the profit on them by now. I think I may have about maybe 15 of them left and, uh, I've been working on my packing skills. I've broke a few of these. Uh, I really have to be careful with the legs. So I've been wrapping the legs super tight, not giving any room for it to bounce around. And uh, I've had success the past couple of times. I've shipped them, but I have had some broken. So at any rate, this sold for $25 plus shipping on top. So nice little flip on that. If you're out there and you see little carousel horses, they will sell. Uh, the next item I got going out, man, I've tried to move the, these. This is an item <clears throat> that I had in my antique booth. So actually it is a part of technically the death pile because it weren't listed. This is a Bell and Howe, um, kind of cool item. It is an eight millimeter projector. If you see that, uh, I listed it in my thing as untested uh, it does power on but i don't have any eight millimeter film to uh to show to see if it's working or not it looked like the lamp lit up on it and i was just trying to move this thing out to be honest with you it's not super valuable uh bell and how <clears throat> the projector anyway if you find the cameras they have a little bit more value this one uh, sold for $18.70 plus shipping. A buyer's actually all in for like $43 because those things are heavy. Um, so that one weren't as valuable as the one I sold yesterday. Uh, the next item going out <coughs> is this Saved by the Bell Season 5. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, um, I remember watching Saved by the Bell. I was actually a little bit past a teenager when I was watching that. But uh, so... We uh, see the cast there, Saved by the Bell. Uh, season five, this sold for $12.50. Uh, free shipping. 
And this is another item. I think I've got a buck into this. So not a huge, huge ordeal, but uh, an easy list, an easy sell. Uh, the next item I got going out <clears throat> is, hold on one second. Let me grab it real quick. All right, guys, so the, these are some retail arbitrage. I've showed these once before. Um, this is a exit stopper. Um, it's a multi-door alarm, and I actually sold two of these. These are retail arbitrage that I picked up from Kmart before they closed. Uh, they actually had <clears throat> racks full of basically stuff that they've used in the store um i forgot exactly what they called it but uh, these i bought for a dollar a piece and these two together sold for 119.98 uh, plus shipping so and if you happen to see these sti door alarm exit stoppers they're worth around 50 some dollars a piece this is my third one i'm actually out of those uh, so like I said, two bucks in turned into 120. I would do that all day, every day if I could. Um, and then we would be uh, having a lot more exciting videos, right? <clears throat> the next item I had going out, and I wanted to talk to you about this one. Uh, I did promise in the beginning that I had a couple items that I sold to debt, like the same day within hours of listing. Uh, the first item is a retail arbitrage. This isn't the first one of these I sold, but this is <coughs> hair clipper. Um, I think on this particular one, I had $19 in this. Um, I picked this up at Walmart. They got a new shipment of hair clippers in, and this sold for $49 free shipping. So for me, I've told you guys in the past, I like to be at like 50% right? Um, so I'm not going to quite make 50% on this. I'm probably going to make about on a $15 flip. I might make about $12. I think it's what I figured it up. Um, but it's a quick flip. This literally sold within two hours of me listing it. So if you see hair clippers out there, everybody's looking to get a haircut and here it is. It's e a lot easier when you have clippers. And this one has guards that you can kind of do a little bit better job on. Okay, the next item I sold that I sold within an, an hour or two of listing was, no great surprise, <clears throat> X, original Xbox. Um, I sold this thing, it has all the cables, also has one controller. And I think I asked too, a little too le less on that thing. Um, uh, the buyer's all in for $59. So that thing had a little drawer issue. It doesn't, uh, open all the time. I've had to, I went in there. I, I think I've got it working, but I still listed it that it was tested. The game works. Uh, the drawer just sticks on occasion. So at any rate, uh, that's going out $59 buyers all in. I really thought that I'd put shipping on top of that thing. And I might have got got by the uh, by the mobile app. Um, if you are listing mobily, make sure you double check on the uh, on those things when you're listing them, because occasionally you can get um, caught up. I do have one other item, and let me grab that real quick, because if I don't, I'll be uh, forgotten. It. So the last item I have going out is not a huge item. Uh, this is actually a external hard drive um, for an Xbox 60. This thing so, sold for 620 plus shipping. It is a 20 gigabyte hard drive and going out for Xbox 360, the old white ones. If you have these, these actually fit on top. It's just extra memory. It's crazy that they have a whole big thing like this just for 20 gig. When now, I mean, our phones have hundreds of gigs on them and they're smaller than this, most of them. So kind of crazy. Sales though were pretty good. Um, Tuesday, for a Tuesday sales, 
I got one more item and then we'll uh, move on. This is the last of these, the new Avengers. This box set used sold for $42.75 plus shipping. Guys, if you see these box sets, the new Avengers are the Avengers. These things are worth a lot. And uh, this is the last of ones that I sold. I picked this thing up for $1.49 at my local thrift and it sold for $42.75. Um, I've had, I think I ended up selling through about six seasons of this. And uh, man, all of them sold for $40 plus. So uh, in fact, there was one of them that sold for like 80 some dollars. So guys, be on the lookout, British television. I don't think this series is streamed anywhere and that's what makes it so valuable. But that is a serious bolo for you. Be on the lookout uh, when you're when you're looking for those through the DVD section. Uh, so total sales for me on Tuesday were four hundred and fourteen dollars uh, sales on nine items. So great day for me, um, guys. I do encourage you to keep listing. Like I said, two of those items I listed. One of them obviously retail arbitrage. So I listed it because I just got it in. That Xbox, I've been testing a bunch of video game systems and it's fun for a bit, but then it kind of gets monotonous. So that is one that I had put up yesterday after getting all the testing done. I was actually had to dig out and find a cable to hook it to the TV. That's what was taking so long. So uh, to get that thing tested, I dug it out in a box in my death pile. So that's probably why it hadn't been listed up to this point. I'll go ahead and show you the, the death pile numbers, and then I'm going to show you a few things that I picked up uh, as well. I'm probably going to just do that on a live video here this afternoon at some point. All right, guys. So total on the death pile is death to the death pile, day 26. Uh, we have a total listed now of 247, and we've sold 28 items off that death pile. So guys, if you are have still a death pile keep listing um that's my goal i'm hoping over the next four days to go ahead and get 300 plus for sure and then i'm going to give you a tour once again of the same areas that i shot film at before and just show you how we have cleaned up i really don't think even when we get in the 300 that i'm going to wipe out my death pile i still have plenty to list for sure because there's a lot of lots of items that take a little bit of time getting through it so uh, I, what I'm going to do is hop on later live and I will show you my, uh, <clears throat> what I picked up, my sourcing, uh, my little haul that I have. And we'll just go over that on the live show. So maybe I can get some help with uh, looking at some of that stuff if you guys have ever sold it. So that's what we'll do this afternoon at some point or this evening, depending on how the schedule works. So thank you guys for watching. If you are a reseller seller out there, I do wish you good luck and hope you have good finds and great flips and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.